From an early age, William Bain Jr. showed a talent, a drive to compete. This innate gift would propel him to the top of his game and his career. From the very beginning, his desire was to be on the top and he had no desire to stay where he was at. He was always trying to better himself. He wanted to be top dog. In the spring of 1981, Bill Bain graduated from Quinnipiac with honors. With a new Bachelor of Science degree in accounting, Bill was ready to face the challenges his studies had prepared him to meet. We all started in um, what we remember as Management 101. I think we all changed a bit in that we realized more over the years how important the education was becoming relative to our future success. Bill launched his career with a position at Beckton Dickinson as a cost accountant. Two years later, Bill raised the bar, taking on responsibility of financial reporting supervisor for Xerox Corporation. His next career move took him to Pitney Bowes as accounting manager. Then, in 1986, the career decision of a lifetime. Bill signed on as controller with Radio Frequency Systems, Inc. of North Haven, Connecticut. Radio Frequency Systems, or RFS, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Alcatel, a global telecommunications interest with sales of over 12 billion euros, nearly 17 billion in U.S. dollars. A leading designer of cable and antenna systems, as well as active and passive RF conditioning modules, RFS provides total package wireless infrastructure solutions. I met Bill in 1988, actually when I came to the company. And from the moment I met him, I was very much impressed with him. He and I clicked right away. I think, number one, he's an incredibly smart guy. He can deal with anybody at any level. He's a very um, dynamic individual. Bill Bain's nearly 20 years with RFS has had its share of challenges and rewards. Bill crisscrosses the globe at a dizzying pace managing RFS businesses in Brazil, Denmark, and China, as well as at home. Well, after about three years uh, at the company, Bill being the controller and, uh, and I being the VP of manufacturing, uh, we had both built our organizations and improved it significantly. One area of the company that was still, let's say, on the weak side was our sales and marketing side. The president of the company at the time said to me, uh, I'm, I'm moving you into sales and marketing, you're taking over sales and marketing, which was kind of radical to take a manufacturing person into sales and marketing. And I said, well, who's going to take my position? He says, I'm going to move Bill into your position. And then he laughed and said, uh, I'm going to take the guy that used to count the beans, and now he's going to make the beans. I'm going to take the guy who used to make the beans, and now he's going to sell the beans. And although it was kind of radical at the time, it, it was ideal. And again, it helped the company grow, and, and I think it was very successful. In 2001, RFS Americas named William Bain Jr. president the youngest in the company's 34-year history. He's a family man, businessman, great father, and I think those are all really important attributes to being a successful businessman. We were all really fortunate to get into a school and to be able to take advantage of what the school had to offer. We've all done pretty well, and I think that, that we owe a lot to Quinnipiac for that. We all learned a lot from each other.